If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super great. They got fast 24-7 support. Make sure to check them out, and make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over Madden 21 on Next Gen, guys. We got the new Xbox One X. I don't know. You probably can't even see it. It's right here, but uh, we haven't hooked up. Again, can't do this one at my house because my Elgato is not, I have to get another Elgato until my computer gets fixed, but I will be doing the 1030 Team of the Week video, which you should have seen already, but the next gen, I want to show you guys the loading time stuff. Obviously, we don't have bad next gen yet, right? So we're not going to have the optimized game yet. So remember, whatever you see now is only going to be faster when the new one does drop. So remember that. So in terms of right now, the biggest thing I'm noticing from adding next gen is going to be the loading speeds, which you guys might be care more about the gaming optimized. And yes, I get that, but we have to wait to December 4th, I believe for that. But in the meantime, Madden's been very optimized in terms of just the system's power. So I want to show you guys like, you know, when you used to load up Madden, right? It would take like, what, like 30 seconds to a minute just to get past the loading screen and then loading in and then solos. Like everything seems to be faster. So let's go to Madden NFL 21. Watch this. This screen used to take like 30 seconds, right? A minute, done. That's done already. So now this screen used to take another, like another 30 seconds. That's done now too as well. And we're already in. So now all we got to do is do the loading screen. Now the only thing that takes a bit longer is going to be this right here. This takes as like the usual time, just about maybe a little bit faster. But the, the thing is, if you count it, I'd say the total load of time for this is probably like 15, 20 seconds. Total is what we're dealing with in terms of loading up Madden right now. It used to be like two, two minutes, two to three minutes. Now, the beauty of this is going to be, this isn't even the optimized game, right? This is still the old coded game. Only thing helping right now is going to be the power of the Xbox One X. So look at this. So we're already in. I'd say we loaded up in less than 30 seconds total. Like to screen, right? So now we go into Ultimate Team. Now, again... In terms of the, obviously I want the next gen version. That, that that's of course going to be true. Now guys, before we get into the rest of this, I'll show you guys loading speeds and how everything kind of looks right now. Make sure down below, if you want to join the Puda Squad, go down below, turn on the noti bell, uh, comment down below Puda Squad, and of course like the video. Now guys, if you guys need to the channel, subscribe. But let's get into this. So let's load into a random solo real quick. I, I haven't tested out solo loading speed. I was kind of saving this for you guys here. Let's see if there's any total loading speed. Let's go to the, like level challenges and let's go to this one right here. Let's see if this is affected. Right? Let's see how this loads up. One two three four five we're in so under five seconds and that's me counting pretty fast there so under five seconds we're loaded in already so from a gameplay standpoint i'm not noticing much of a difference here it seems to be as though the uh the gameplay itself is kind of similar like again it's not optimized yet so of course so this is what we're going to be noticing so you're not going to see any of the next gen like animations right like not like an like to describe it pretty much like simply you're not going to be seeing the next gen fluidness just yet you're going to see increased graphics. Now, I don't think you'll notice the graphics on your screen, of course, because you have to understand that this is like through OBS and everything. So it's going to be 1080p rendered and stuff. Now, obviously things look better, but it's not going to be crazy. So the biggest differences are going to come with the next gen. But for me, mostly from a person that kind of cares about, I care about speed, you know, younger, care about speed, used to like faster tech at this point. This is going to be the biggest difference that you guys are noticing is that things are going to be really quick. So let's see just to get out of the solo. So let's say you exit game. This can sometimes can load for another 10, 15 seconds, right? 15, 20, so one Mississippi, two, three, under three, right there around three, maybe not even a full three seconds or back out. So let's go back in again. I'm gonna count this through the OBS this time. You guys, this is pretty big, because I'm telling you guys, this is going to help the solo grind for level up grinding. This is gonna help a lot, because a lot of the time you spend, like the level up grind, the level speed real, the hardest parts loading in between, right? That's usually been the lar uh, the hardest part of loading in. So let's see, let's start counting here. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so five seconds that time. But again, like I said, this isn't optimized yet. So this is this is pretty great. This is a big improvement on what we've been dealing with. So let's complete this solo and see how long it takes to maybe restart a solo. So let's streak it up here to X and let's just see if we can um, test the restart time. Because again, this is big for the saw, the level of grind. Of course, I just got a flag. So guys, in terms of everything, like as far as Madden, it's the same game right now. And quite honestly, guys, do we expect next gen to be much? No, there hasn't been too much news in terms of that. I do think we'll be getting more news as we get sooner. Madden definitely is a little backed up on having its next gen now. Do I think it'll be an entirely different game? Honestly, guys, I can't say that for certain. That's going to be a different game for the most part. We all know how EA is. We all know for the most part, they'll probably let us down in terms of that. But as of now, the console seems to be way faster as well as download speeds. Just to give you guys a little Xbox review there for you guys wondering. So uh, if you guys didn't see on Twitter, I did do my pro and console. So let's see, let's replay challenge here. So I'll bring up my pro and console for you guys real quick. So it's kind of like a Madden Xbox One review as well. So here's the thing. I have my pro console. So these are my noticing things from what I've noticed from having this. So to download this game, this game took me like 10, under 10 minutes to download, 
which is a big difference compared to what I was downloading that before. Now, I think if it's just like the, um, the Wi-Fi chip and everything's a lot faster. I think it's Wi-Fi 6 ready as well for you guys who have a, five, uh, a Wi-Fi 6 uh, router. But these are my first impressions. So first off, super quiet. There's no more jet engine like blowing up fan. It's super quiet, super cool. Definitely going to lead to the room being a lot less hot than usual. Um, Madden loads up in like a second, like the, the initial, the initial screen loads up and then the other screen, which is like the booting up cleats and lacing cleats and stuff. That's going to be the longest part of the boot up time. But again, that's going to be more so aimed at the game not being optimized. So what they said was when the game is optimized, it's going to be built for this, right? It's kind of like running one of the Xbox 360 games on the Xbox one, you know, like it was kind of clunky because it's not built for the one. It's going to be the same thing. So you can download the Xbox series X version today. You can go ahead and download and go through all of that. The only difference is going to be the uh, the fact that you're dealing with what essentially is going to be just slower times, right? Because it's going to be not optimized. But you are, and of course, a newer game. So here's my other impression. So everything's super fast. It looks awesome, the system. And it seems to handle, hand, handle download speeds. The only thing that's a con for the Xbox as of now is going to be the fact that things are kind of, uh, nothing's optimized yet, right? Like all games are going to be playing. Of course, Cold War, 2K, those are up to date, newer games. But you're kind of dealing with uh, non-optimized Madden, which kind of sucks. But again, things just feel smoother. Everything feels smoother. Moving in and out of menus feels smoother. Getting, let's say, getting out of this menu, like, that's all, see how quick that all is? Like, usually that whole process there, it can get a little clunky between solos. And again, it will be optimized. So look, we're out of the menu. Everything just feels faster. But that's pretty much about it for that, guys. That covers the majority of what I want to go over there. Now, I don't really see anything else to really show you. If you hop into, like, an exhibition, you know, like, everything just seems to move really fast in comparison to what it was. It's less clunky. And um, obviously, I, I, I can only imagine what the next-gen optimized version is going to be. Now, if you guys are wondering what I think will be for the new Madden, I think we'll have more, maybe a different color scheme. I think maybe they'll change the menu. I don't know how much they'll really change, but I think next-gen animations will be different. So for all you guys who ended up, if you guys played, when you guys remember when there was the Xbox One, uh, Xbox 360, Xbox One Madden, like Madden 25, if you guys remember, the game looked different. It was just like a different color scheme and better animation. So like the trucking looked better. We got crazier catch animations. Like, I don't know if they'll implement that because it's supposed to be cross compatible. So I don't know how much you can really change because that would change the gameplay, right? So the only way they could do that is if they didn't make it cross compatible where you had to play with next gen people. Like kind of like how 2K is doing with the park. Like obviously you can't play park both ways. It would have to be like that now. That would hurt the community as a whole, which I kind of don't want to see. So it's, it's a very tough situation to be in. I mean, again, if, if there is new an, an gameplay animations and there's going to be things that are changing from that aspect, it's looking like it won't be cross compatible on that aspect. Maybe they keep uh, my, what's it called, ultimate team the same for the year. Because, of course, there's competitive stuff going on. Maybe they keep that the same. They just change, like, franchise and exhibition. And then next year go full-blown, like, next-gen, non-cross-compatible. That's probably the, the more likely route. Again, we don't know. There'll be more news in the coming month. Like, maybe, we'll, again, new menus. Um, I don't think ultimate team will change much because that's a paid game mode. So, from a legal standpoint, I feel like for the best thing for them is always going to be to just keep it uh, fluid and consistent for everyone because people paid money into that. People will not. Obviously, everything transfers. Though, so, remember that. They can go ahead and go that route where they don't make cross compatible because they are they are including a transfer option. So because there's a transfer option, it's not like it's not going to be a legal issue because they, you can. It's not like you lost your money, so you just have to get a new console. So I think they could go that route again. But that's about it for the video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy. I don't know if I'm gonna throw this into the team of the week video or separate video. I'll let you guys know later on that. But that's about it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you're new to the channel, go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, come join the family. Make sure you do a big thumbs up as always. Shout out the Poodle Squad. Well, again, just turn the notification bell, like the video, and comment down below, Poodle Squad. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy my Xbox One X, uh, Xbox Series X first impressions. Um, I love it, guys. It's, it's awesome. It's a great system. Definitely gonna be playing some 2K today because that's the optimized, you know, it's an optimized game. I want to I feel what this thing feels like. If you guys want to know some more, follow me on Twitter. I will be tweeting out about it today as I go through, check out the system. And of course, the new remote looks pretty awesome too if you guys want to see it right here. Uh, I'm not using this one. I do have an Elite controller, but this one does feel a lot better than the typical controller. More of a matte feel, like solid feel to it. More of a finish rather than that glossy, chromey look that some of them have or just a generic, like, cheapy plastic. But, that's it for the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.